This morning, I thought how to convince my cousin to become a film producer. I was studying the structure of ammonite. The ammonites lived in the prehistoric ocean floors and now there are fossils on the mountain tops. Few are interested in the mountains. The ammonites has the same shape as the cochlea. Through the cochlea, the brain can pick up sounds. Some ammonites have become part of our ears. So I thought, whoever does not listen to the ammonites has bad ears. While I was experimenting 5 grams of sodium chloride in a plate of Italian spaghetti with tomato sauce, without respecting any rules of good behavior, I went to the computer on my cousin's company website. I looked at the list of the endless chemicals for sale. Acetone, ammonium chloride, ascorbic acid, ascorbic pantate, oxyacinazole, caffeine, calcium chloride, citric acid, glycerin, glycerol, graphite, lactic acid, methanol, methylphenol, nicotinamide, bicarbonate of potassium, potassium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, zinc oxide, zinc steroide. I didn't know which element to start from. But let's go back in time, almost half a century. My cousin was born in the third month of 1973 in Australia. I was born in the third month of 1973 in Italy. In Australia in March they enter into autumn. In Italy in April it's spring. At one year of age my cousin came from a short visit in Italy. The journey from Australia to Italy was long. The center of the heart was full of cats. Then, finally, the exit. My aunt came out first. We stayed together for two months, then he left for Australia. The journey from Italy to Australia was also long, but this time, in the center of the earth, he met clocks. When I found out, I wondered why. My uncle had to fight in a white land. The most bullying kangaroos took it out on my cousin. At first it was difficult for him, and also my aunt had some problems. Fortunately, the kangaroos were fighting with each other, and my cousin had time to study. Meanwhile, in Italy, mom, to make me fall asleep, invented stories. She said that pizzas in Australia grow on trees, and in the New South Wales they thresh them directly from the fields. I fell asleep dreaming of me having a box match against kangaroos. Meanwhile, in Australia, my cousin was dedicated to rock. And during his USA tour, he braved a hurricane. While I was playing in the Helders band and in the fanfare of the neighborhood. Time passes quickly, fast fast. The grandmother had chosen to live in Australia and one day she was taken on a trip by a big dog. Greece, Egypt, Egypt Italy, Italy, Australia, Australia next, next stop, stop, paradise. Meanwhile, I began with the first experiments. I watched the films of Kubrick, Scorsese, Hitchcock, Spielberg. I was buying cameras and on the set I said in English, action. action. In the meantime, however, we moved on from the cinema to the computer and from the computer to the phone. Internet. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. One day my cousin, who had trained a lot, at the solo contest it was beaten by a cat. His father, who ran the family business, he urged him to join the company full time, to explain the graph to him and give him much repetition. About mathematics, the professor rejected me for the third time. I thought that the scientific career was not suitable for me and I dropped out of university. 
but Italy gave me from time to time some joy, and in the meantime I was shooting some documentaries around the world. At the end of 2019, the coronavirus arrived, and everybody was running away. But after months crossed at home, some began to dance on the ceilings, while others were attacked by pigeons. Many cinemas in Italy closed during the lockdown, but the computers worked and mobile too. I felt troubled by bigger issues myself and I was wasting my time. This was just before experimenting that 5 grams of sodium chloride salt in a plate of Italian spaghetti with tomato sauce. Meanwhile, I looked at the chemicals acetone, ammonium chloride, ascorbic acid, ascorbic pantate, oxyacinazole on my cousin's company website, caffeine, calcium chloride, citric acid, glycerin, glycerol, graphite, lactic acid, methanol, methylphenol, nicotinamide, carbonate of thousand hydroxyl, oxide, oxide, steroid. I made up my monthly resolutely. Proceed in alphabetical order. I started from A and I chose ammonia. I cannot exclude that I have chosen it because I use it. At this point we need to go back in time again, but far back in time. Pliny the Elder, the naturalist philosopher who lived 2000 years ago, in his book Naturalis Historie, he is the first to talk about ammonia salts. Absolutely not to be used to salt water and not even the salad. Pliny the Elder left on an expedition to Egypt. Attention! 2000 years ago there was no internal combustion engine. Pliny the Elder crossed the desert on foot. Found anything yet? Nothing yet, sir. Not a thing, sir. We ain't found shit. Why was Pliny the Elder looking for excrement in the desert? Was he crazy? Maybe. No. Yes. Now. Nah. Some news had reached him and he wanted to be sure. The Berbers on the desert at night, they heat up by burning dry dromedary dung. Then, when they wake up in the morning, the ashes are full of ammonia crystals. Pliny the Old was becoming Pliny the Very Old. When he finally came across this sign, he began to follow in the unmistakable footsteps of dromedary. He then saw a man on a dromedary and he followed him. Until he came to Siwa Oasis in Egypt. But let's go back to my uncle for a moment, to my aunt, my grandmother, his daughter, that is my mother, his father, that was my grandfather, and another uncle who so far had not been mentioned. All five lived childhood and youth in Egypt, more precisely in Alexandria. Alexandria is a seven hour drive from Siba Oasis. Right in the middle of Siva Oasis, there's a temple dedicated to the most important Egyptian deity, the god Amon. Ammonia crystals are named after the god Amon. When Pliny the Elder made this discovery, he rejoiced. And I thought, I made an excellent choice with Ammonia. I knew that Ammonites were named after the god Amon, because the ancients had associated their spiral shell to the airy twisted arms of the god Ammon. But what does the god Ammon have to do with ammonia? The ancients took the horns of the earth. They dissolved them in boiling water. Then they distilled the liquid and they called ammonia spirit of art horn. Hope, Hope is the pillar that, that holds, holds up the, the world. world. Hope, Hope is, is the dream of the waking man. man. The best the plan is, as the common proverb has it, to profit by the folly of others. The truth, the truth comes, comes with wine. wine. Pliny the Elder launched his own brand of beer. Practical application of his philosophy. 
he was the first to experience its effect. Then he began to sell it to the first Christians, to the Orthodox Greeks, to the Dutch people, even with a discount if together with pizza. And since the post-drinking event is P, and P contains urea and urea contains ammonia, Pliny the Elder tried to launch a parallel business. <laughs> Was he crazy? Maybe. No. Yes. Now. Two thousand years later my uncle came to Australia and he found less rudimentary method to produce ammonia. This morning I was thinking how to convince my cousin to become a film producer.